Hello and welcome. In this Shivery Medieval Warfare video, I will be teaching you the basics and tapping into the advanced skills, movements, and tactics of the man at arms. But you're also teaching the different weapons and when to use them. This is Shivery Medieval Warfare Path to Become the King's Guard. First of all, disclaimer I am ill, have got a blocked up nose, I won't always sound like I'm a tard. But, what is Path to Become a King's Guard? Well, it's just a series of videos where we're going to teach you guys, me, I say we, me and my friend Sam, going to teach you guys how to come better at chivalry, how to do advanced movements along with the basic one like this. This one's a little bit patronising for um, advanced players, so you might want to check out some of our other videos if we have any out yet. But what we're going to do is skim past all the classes in basic ways and then come back and revisit them in, um, in more like advanced techniques. And hopefully overall we'll get all the uh, weapons done in the game, how to be good with them, um, certain techniques for each one and like footwork etc. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Man at Arms is one of the four classes you can choose from in Shivery Medieval Warfare. Well, really, it's one out of three if you're talking about the melee classes. Out of the three melee classes, it's the fastest but has the, is the lightest armoured. Fastest don't just include running speed, they also include weapon speed. Man at Arms specialises in one-handed weapons and special equipment. These include two different shields, the heated shield and the buckle shield, and a fire pot and throwing knife. You can only choose one special equipment at a time. It has a various different range of primary weapons. You can use anything from an axe to a sword. These are all one-handed apart from the quarterstaff, which has been fairly newly added. For secondary weapons, it has a cho you have a choice from daggers or short swords. Yeah, short swords do include a massive wooden club for some reason. You're not really going to be using your uh, secondaries as man at arms. I never really seem to come across it unless I'm just messing around or I want to use a dagger for a bit of fun. Um, but if you're going to use any, either use one of the fastest daggers or you can actually name the short sword. But that's definitely going to be touched on in future videos as well. Dodging is a massive mechanic for playing man at arms. You can dodge to the right of someone's overhead or poke and then get round their parry and manage to land a hit on them, or dodge out of the way of their attack and coming back in and manage to poke them just when they're in their recovery stage. You can also use dodging aggressively. This can be anywhere from just dodging towards them to able to actually land your hit, to dodging directly in their face, then panicking thinking that your dodge animation is an attack animation and panic blocking and you manage to get them in between panic block. But remember, dodging takes a lot of stamina and as man at arms, stamina management is key. Like any class on Chivalry, you are able to kick as man at arms. You are not able to kick unless you have either your secondary and primary weapon out. Trying to do this with an oil put or a throwing knife will result in nothing. Trying to do it with one of the two shields you can choose from will result in a shield bash. Some objects that you're able to pick up in the battlefield on some objective maps, you are able to kick with, like the flag, you capture the flag, but some you're not able to, like the torch that you've got to throw at houses to burn them down. But overall, the man at arms, I would stay away from kicking unless absolutely needed, as it leaves you open for a free attack if you miss, and also if you're doing this on a game where there isn't jewels, everyone's going to see that as a free kick. Shields are great if you're going up against their advanced player and they can drag and you do not know how to, start, um, how to counter this. As you can keep them for as long as you want so someone cannot uh, make you um, block too early or too late. The problem with shields is they take away a lot of stamina per each block. So you've got to really get your damage out there and get them killed before they can run you out of stamina and kill you. Especially like in this case, sometimes I'm going up against one of the um, heaviest weapons in the game or if they're for it drains the most stamina. But luckily I got my bottom left to keep me safe. If someone does a heavy kick on you, when you still have your shield up, you um, will be stunned for a few seconds leaving you open and they'll be able to get a free kick on you. Also, if you if you try and do this on other people and you're using a shield, you will not be able to stun them. A, a shield hitting another shield does not stun the other player. So now we've covered the shields, there's only two more special equipment you can use in man-at-arms. Fire knives and fire pods. Fire knives are good if you're accurate. You only get four of them, but you have to hit at least two of them to be effective. But you can do a lot of damage dealt if you know what you're doing with them. But just remember to get a melee weapon out in time so you can block the opponent's attack. 
Fire pots do a lot less damage, but they can be thrown further range and also they can hit a group of people and not just one person. It's very unlikely you're going to kill someone unless they're on very low health, but you can definitely damage a group of opponents. <laughs> just don't forget, you can team kill in this game. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to learn more about Shivery, head over to our uh, channel and see um, see what videos we got up. We've got new videos coming out soon of how to use footwork and advanced movements for the man at arms. We also have a tip video coming out. If you want a certain class, weapon, or mechanic of this game to be covered, leave a comment in the um, leave a comment down below, and I will sure to get back with you either with a response or hopefully with a video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.